the CH-53 E Super Stallion has logged more than 1 million flight hours since entering service with the Marine Corps in 1981, according to U.S. Naval Air Systems Commander Naver, which referred to the helicopter as still one of the most used aircraft in the United States military air arsenal. Missions involving the Super Stallion include amphibious assault, long-range insertion, and delivering troops, vehicles and supplies. The CH-53E has seen more work than was ever anticipated it would see, said Madge Matthew Bauman, Naver Heavy Lift Helicopter Program Office co lead. The Super Stallion is no longer in production, but the fleet is undergoing a reset to extend their service life through 2032. Of the 142 CH-53Es in the fleet, the first 25 helicopters have completed their reset process, according to Bauman, allowing the squadron commanders to plan for training, operations and maintenance with renewed confidence. Resetting the fleet will help smooth the transition to the new CH-53K King Stallion, the Super Stallion's heavy lift replacement. The CH-53K is the most powerful helicopter ever built by the United States military, said Carl Jack Perron, NAVR's heavy lift helicopter program manager. The King Stallion is currently in the testing and capability requirements phase, with deployment scheduled for 2024. It's a game changer, Perron said. We can't wait to have the K available for fleet use. But for now, we've got a capable, reliable and safe helicopter doing heavy lift for our Marines.